Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you an interactive attacking game which Robert James Fisher played against Brazilian chess player Henry Macking. This game is from 1970 Palma de Mallorca Interzonal. The game can be useful for those who are playing Larson's or Bird's opening. In the game Fisher had white pieces and he opened up with Larson's opening b3, a nice way of avoiding the theoretical battle d5 was making's answer and by the way let me tell you that he would only earn grandmaster title two years later in 1970. bishop b2 by fisher in larsen's opening the bishop is usually putting a useful pressure on black's king side and uh, in many cases white is relying on the power of this bishop when organizing the attack for now the bishop is controlling the central e5 square c5 knight f3 Knight c6, e3, knight f6, and bishop b5. This is how white is usually playing in birds or Larson's opening. Is going for the exchange of this light squared bishop, is removing a key defender, and is taking control over the central e5 square. Uh, plus, the bishop is usually hindering the maneuvers of white pieces. That's why white is getting rid of it by going for an exchange. e6, d3. Bishop e7, bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, knight e5. White knight occupied a central square and now f4 can follow. Rook c8, knight d2, black castled kingside and f4. Uh, with a transposition of moves, we reach the well-known position of bird's opening. Knight d7, queen g4 with a lethal bishop takes c6 threat. That's why black neutralized the thread by going for an exchange and then neutralized the mating thread by playing bishop f6. Rook f3, from the third rank white is switching into the attack, the rook, again a very standard idea in bird's opening. And I think that uh, Fisher was pretty much blitzing out the moves, you know, this type of positions is very easy to play with the white pieces. Rook g3 and already white is creating a very nasty queen takes g7 threat. Uh, that's why black finally decided to get rid of this strong dark squared bishop by going for an exchange, but this allowed white to open up the f-file as well. And now how are you going to neutralize the mating threat? Black played f5, uh, but let me tell you that if you move like g6 then after rook f6, once white is cementing black's king side, the attack can't be stopped. Uh, in the game after f takes e5, we see f5 and white captured and passant. Rook takes f6 and as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Fisher's next moves. Ready? In here, the future world chess champion went for queen takes g7. And after queen takes g7, with black having a pinned queen, Fischer made a sufficient suk and captured on f6. The queen can nowhere escape, black can't break up the pin, and the combination is allowing white to win a pawn, also get a very active rook. Rook e8, g4, a4, knight f3, the white knight is coming, which together with the rook will become a huge headache for black. Bishop d7, rook d6. By not allowing white knight to jump on e5, black weakened the position further, allowed white rook to get activated, and now victory is just a matter of time. e4, d takes e4, d takes e4, c4, b4, bishop g4, king e3, White centralized the king as well, and now finally will land heavy punches. G6 check. Now in here, king e8 is good in order later not to get exposed to a fork, but black played king f8, and there followed g takes h7, rook takes h7, and knight g6 check, and now black will also lose the pawn on e5. Yeah, black's position is hopeless. The pawn on c4 also dropped and it's high time to resign. 
king c7 we see an exchange on c8 as well rook d6 and finally at this point brazilian chess player resigned look after fisher's retirement making was considered to be the strongest player from the west but i see that this game he played very badly you know seems like that against burst defense he had no counter weapon and his position went down really quickly i think that for fisher this was just an easy walk now in the end the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video